in this space of remembrance for young Dolph. Many come for different reasons, some to grieve, others to pay tribute. I just had really had want to stop by here because I kind of feel the pain, you know, what his family going through. But after two shootings in less than 48 hours, one witness we spoke with who did not want to be identified is left shaken. My life was in danger because I don't have anything to do with it. I'm just really just up here paying my respect. And I, it was like, Lord, I can't get killed. I can't get shot because I'm a grandma. A man was shot in the thigh Thursday evening. Memphis police believe Terrence Jones pulled the trigger from the backseat of a stolen vehicle as he rode past the vigil. Shortly after the shooting, MPD officers say they chased the vehicle to Kerr Avenue and Mississippi Boulevard and found the car wrecked. MPD says Jones and two other individuals took off running from police and were ultimately caught. MPD recovered six guns and one of them is believed to have been stolen. I feel like that they got what they asked for, you know. The police got him and got him in custody and, and I'm glad that they did that because they could have shot innocent other people up here. Since the shooting, Memphis police have added surveillance cameras and increased patrols in the area. Reporting in South Memphis, Jordan James, WREG, New Channel 3.